Welcome to Make Card Maniacs. I'm Jay. And I'm John. And today we're unboxing Pro Wrestling Crate for December. Pro Wrestling Crate is a monthly subscription service from the Pro Wrestling Tees Company. You know the company, they make all the t-shirts and they put together a little box of wrestling memorabilia. Yeah, so you get your two t-shirts, autographs, we've got some cool things. Oh, micro brawlers, that's what I'm always excited for. Yes, little figurines. We've gotten some cool ones in the past. We got some boogeyman action, we had some El Generico. Whoa. All right, December 2020 crate, and it just tells us next month's crate features Kenny Omega, Jake the Snake, RVD, IRS, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Thunder Rosa, and the Good Brothers. That's a really stacked lineup. Mm -hmm. Like, all except IRS, I think I like here. What? You don't like the IRS, man? He's fine, he's fine. You know, it's just been a minute since I've seen him. We're gonna get like a Rob Van Dam joint just signed. <laughs> yeah, that'll have to be demonetized. We're not monetized anyway yet, but man, RVD, he's a wild one. <laughs> At least it's not a Katie Forbes something or other. Katie <laughs> Forbes photo, it's like, okay, put that booty back. <laughs> All right, let's go for our t-shirt. Let's stop this shenanigans. All right, ooh, we've got the ultimate warrior. Ooh. Aw, he's like a little cartoon guy. This is actually really cool. I like the style. And I like, I mean, if you've seen our logo, we like the paint, like the paint splatter style. So this is kind of cool. And you got like, not a chibi version, but a little cartoony Ultimate Warrior. And thankfully it's not green because we usually shoot a lot of stuff on green screen. And I thought that maybe if there's going to be an Ultimate Warrior thing, we'd have some green. Yep. But this is good. We got the pinks, we got the yellows. And Looks a cute good. ass Ultimate Warrior. I know. He looks like a very like Saturday morning cartoon style. Yeah. And what's good is like, you know the t-shirts are gonna be quality if you've ever worn a pro wrestling tease t-shirt. You know what to expect. This is the, like the softer Gildan ones. Yeah. Oh, this one's actually really soft too. Soft style. That's always fun. Soft style. All right. It looks as, oh, I thought you had like a tank for a second there. Oh, nice little. Bully Ray. 5150. Yep, hardcore. hardcore. I like the material of this. And it's the got design. like that, the Heather style too. Well, I haven't listened to his podcast. I know he's like pretty popular now, still doing his podcast and stuff. I haven't been keeping up, but I liked him back in the day. I appreciate his aces and eights stuff. True, true. Well, this is very well organized in here, I tell you. Sounds like a micro brawler to it me. It does. <laughs> so we're going with our little mini figurine. And we've got Tatanka, hell yeah, Ooh. with his arms crossed, looking badass. <laughs> He's pretty cool. This is a very basic micro brawler, but Tatanka, old school, like mm -hmm. I was a big fan of Tatanka, of course, a lot of people were. You're very unique as like a, like a native wrestler, just kind of jumping around the ring. Not much going on as far as like the figurine is concerned, but hey. Yeah, I mean, it looks, it looks good, but like, if I were to like have a wrestling match, I'm not using him because his arms are crossed the whole time. You're right. <laughs> like the reason why the big rubber wrestlers back in the eighties, like they're all in different poses. If you've seen that Netflix show, like the toys that made us, they talk about like putting them in different poses. That way you can have different, more interesting matches. Well, he's going to be standing in your <laughs> ringside corner doing dick. Or he's just going to do a flying headbutt. <laughs> a tope suicida, baby. <laughs> Oh, there's two. I'm gonna go with the pin by the feel of it. So Danhausen. Yes. Oh, oh. Dan this Housen. is a great Danhausen pin too. He's hilarious. If you guys do not know Danhausen, he is amazing. He's just a really interesting character because he's this over the top, painted up face, and he just talks so crazy. He doesn't like swearing, so I'll try and refrain a little bit for him. It's hard, I've been drinking. Sorry, Dan Housen, but he is great. Go watch any of his matches. Like halfway through, he'll stop and do the little Pee Wee Herman on the ringside doing his tequila. Look at the smooth moves of Dan Housen. And like says Housen on like on everything. everything. It's funny, I like his, I like his gimmick and He's entertaining. And a lot of you that watch us are here because of AEW, and you probably saw Warhorse make his appearance going for the TNT Championship against Cody. Well, Dan Housen is kind of in that same area. Him, Alley Cat, Dan the Dad, bunch of indie wrestlers with very unique personalities. Dan Housen is up at the top, and he's currently, I think, doing stuff for ROH, but I don't know if he's fully signed because he constantly tweets about like, so is Danhausen booking housing yet? Or <laughs> like, what can I do? Like, 
either let me go or what? Like, do something with me. Danhausen is awesome, so to have a Danhausen pin is dope. I have a little Danhausen jersey, but I got it right before COVID, and I put on about 30 pounds since, so it doesn't fit anymore. It's unfortunate. What is this thing? Oh. It felt like a DVD. Well, there's another thing then. Oh. I'll leave that thing over here. Oh. So I'll go for the DVD. There's a DVD. This is a packed box because we already have two shirts. We have a pin, we have the micro brawler, we have a DVD, which is behind the merch. This is cool. Is this a, like a documentary? Yeah, it's a documentary about pro wrestling tees. Join professional wrestlers Cole Cabana, Young Bucks, Cody, Kenny Omega, and many more with an in-depth look on the history behind pro wrestling tees. This is actually really cool. I'm interested to know because they are the place to go. One of the first things we did when we started our YouTube channel was like, we want to get our shirts on pro wrestling tees because that's the spot. That's where all the indie wrestlers go. And that's where AEW shop is. Like if you go to awshop.com, it actually just <laughs> is pro wrestling tees. I'm really interested. And speaking of Danhausen, there's an amazing video that I'll link to uh, of Danhausen going to pro wrestling tees and walking around and he like subtly like steals hats and stuff. But it's him looking around and trying to find his merchandise and getting pissed off that he can't find it everywhere. <laughs> it's great and it's amazing. Again, Dan Housen is not on this. It's gold dust. I will definitely watch this. That's a, that'd be a fun watch. Okay, so where's the thing that you- On the left side. Oh, I feel it. Is it a magnet? Yeah, I think it is a magnet. It's a pro wrestling tease. This is like an old school, like- 80s retro Retro vibes. magnet. You go throw this on your fridge. I will. I'll let you go for another one. Cause I think <laughs> that there are two autographs in this box. Ooh. If I'm not mistaken, if not- Well, I'm feeling- Shit. I'm feeling the paper. There's no, it's also hard to pull out. I don't want to bend it. Okay, we're both gonna do this one together because you don't want the bend. Okay. Oh, maybe there isn't two. Is there? Oh, there is. All right. So here, you take one first. All right, I'll take one and hold it to myself and then you take the other and we'll do the reveal. Okay, go. Whoa, Lex the Express. <laughs> Lex Luger? Yeah. That's way cooler than TJP. <laughs> Did they plan to have the all American, <laughs> the all -American and, and the <laughs> counter American or whatever? Like, so TJP has been pretty vocal, pretty vocal about his all this stuff. And this seems to be a thrown in one. It says bonus TJP autograph, potentially maybe just getting rid of them. I don't really care about this one, but the Lex Luger one, I'm all about. I appreciate TJP and I like his, his wrestling and he's a great wrestler, but God damn it, man. <laughs> yeah. But Lex Luger? You get the Lex Express. I would have never guessed somebody of this caliber being in this box, to be honest. Like usually you're gonna get like some indie wrestlers and maybe not even just indie wrestlers, but like we've had Britt Baker, which was amazing. And that really like, I thought that was gonna be the top. Lex Luger is fucking awesome. I never thought I'd have a Lex Luger autograph. So this is great. So two autographs this time we got the magnet, which looks great. So we got a couple like self promotional things, mm -hmm. which are both of quality. Yeah, like even though it's like, oh, here's this pro wrestling tee magnet here, magnet, and here's this pro wrestling tee DVD. Like, and I'm okay like throwing that on my fridge, even though it's like advertisement to say the least. Yeah, it's like I buy shit from here every single month. And it's quality. And looking on the back, it says, go to pwtmovie.com to check out the movie, I think. Because it also says streaming free on YouTube. So you don't even need the DVD, but I'm happy to add this to my collection. Very cool. And then of course, we've got the Bully Ray and the Ultimate Warrior shirts, as well as the Tatanka, the Danhausen, a nice mix of indie wrestling and familiar faces for everybody across the board. This is a really well-balanced pack and I'm pumped about it. What do you guys think of Pro Wrestling Crate for December 2020, the final box of the year? I know we got it a little bit late. We're in Canada, it is what it is. If you wanna learn more about the Pro Wrestling Crate, go to prowrestlingcrate.com. Link is in the description, it's not an affiliate. Well, it kind of is, but not because we're paid to make this unboxing. But we will get a free box if five people sign up. Check it out, if you're interested, check out the link. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything Mid Card Maniacs.